are we all baptized into one body, whether we be Jews or Gentiles, whether we be bond or free, and have been all made to drink into one spirit. For the body is not one member, but many. Now, the Spirit of God baptized us into the body of Christ, not with water. It's as dry as a bone. There's no water involved. It's a spiritual baptism. Now, it is not what people refer to today as the baptism of the Holy Ghost. Jesus Christ did the baptism, baptizing with the Holy Spirit in Acts chapter 2 and Acts chapter 10. This is the baptism by the Holy Spirit. Hold on, man. Go with me to Acts chapter 1, please. In Acts chapter 1, Jesus Christ is talking to the apostles, verse 4, and being assembled together with them, commanded them that they should not depart from Jerusalem, but wait for the promise of the Father, which saith he, you've heard of me. For John truly baptized with water, but you shall be baptized with the Holy Ghost not many days hence. John baptized with water. You shall be baptized with the Holy Ghost not many days hence. Turn please to Acts chapter 2. In Acts chapter 2, Peter is preaching. And he's referring to David and what David said about the resurrection of the Lord Jesus Christ. Now go to verse... 31, he, David, seeing this before, spake of the resurrection of Christ, that his soul was not left in hell, neither his flesh did see corruption. This Jesus hath God raised up, whereof we all are witnesses. Verse 33, therefore being by the right hand of God exalted, and having received of the Father the promise of the Holy Ghost, he has shed forth this, which you now see and hear. In other words, Jesus Christ then ascended up to heaven, went to God the Father, received the promise of the Holy Ghost, and Jesus Christ baptized the twelve apostles with the Holy Ghost. In Acts chapter 2, verse 1, And when the day of Pentecost was fully come, they, the twelve apostles, they were all with one accord in one place. And suddenly there came a sound from heaven as of a rushing mighty wind. didn't say a rushing mighty wind came. It said a sound as of a rushing mighty wind. And it, not the wind, it, the sound, it filled all the house where they were sitting. And there appeared unto them cloven tongues like as of fire. didn't say anything about fire sitting on their shoulders. There appeared unto them cloven tongues like as of fire, and it sat upon each of them. Verse 4, And they were all filled with the Holy Ghost, and began to speak with other tongues, as the Spirit gave them utterance. In other words, they spoke in languages they didn't even know anything about. They spoke in languages of the people that were there, and and exalted the Lord in their eyes and in their ears by preaching in their language, Jesus Christ baptized them with the Holy Ghost. That is not the same as we. Go back to 1 Corinthians 12 again. In 1 Corinthians 12, verse 13, For by one Spirit are we all baptized into one body. <clears throat> In Acts chapter 2, the Holy Spirit is the medium whereby they're baptized. Jesus Christ does the baptizing. In this particular play, case, the Spirit of God Himself does the baptizing. We're the ones baptized, and we are baptized into a spiritual body by the Holy Spirit, whether we be Jews, Gentiles, Greeks, whatever we be, we that believe in Christ as our Lord and Savior are baptized by the Spirit into the body of Christ. Turn please to Galatians chapter 3. In Galatians chapter 3. Galatians chapter 3, verse 26. Galatians 3, 26 says, For you are all the children of God by faith in Christ Jesus. For as many of you as have been baptized into Christ 
have put on Christ. Now, I know it isn't water. It cannot be water. Why? Verse 28, there is neither Jew nor Greek. There is neither bond nor free. There is neither male nor female. For you're all one in Christ Jesus. You that have been baptized in water, you went into the baptismal pool a male or a female, and you came out a male or a female. This baptism that is performed by the Holy Spirit is a spiritual baptism into a spiritual body wherein there is neither male nor female, there is bond nor free, and on and on. In other words, it is spiritual. We are not in it physically. We are in it spiritually. Turn, please, to Romans and look in Romans chapter 12. In Romans chapter 12. In Romans chapter 12, verse 4, the Bible said, For as we have many members in one body, arms, legs, eyes, nose, whatever, we have one, many members in one body, and all members have not the same office, so we, being many, are one body in Christ, and every one members one of another. Now, you'd have to really stretch it to make that passage say that we are physically members one of another. The only way that I know in this Bible that you can become a physical member of another is by marriage. Turn please to 1 Corinthians and look in 1 Corinthians chapter 6. In 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 15. Know ye not that your bodies are the members of Christ? Shall I then take the members of Christ and make them the members of an harlot? God forbid. What? Know ye not? You're listening. Know ye not that he that is joined to an harlot is one body? For two, saith he, shall be one flesh. The only people that are one, the two that are one, physically, are married. But in this particular case, according to verse 17, he that is joined unto the Lord is one spirit, not physical. We spiritually are baptized into a spiritual body, and that spiritual body is called the body of Christ, and in that body there is no condemnation. Now that's clear. Romans chapter 8 verse 1, there is therefore now no condemnation to them which are in Christ Jesus, spiritual realm who walk not after the flesh, but after the Spirit, the condemnation or justification is not based upon your Christian walk. Condemnation or justification is based upon your faith in Christ. God justified you at Calvary based upon His foreknowledge that you believe in Christ, your Lord and Savior. Jesus Christ, by faith, went to Calvary. And if you believe that He did what He did, what he, the Bible says He did, paid for your sins, if you believe that with all your heart, it's put to your account, and God does not see you in condemnation again, cannot ever again, but you're justified and made righteous in Christ. Our time is gone today. Thank you.